In the early morning of January 15, 2018, Special Agents Wayne Matthews and Dennis Tracy of the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division Aviation Unit responded to a request to assist with a domestic violence incident in which an armed suspect had fled the scene. Pilot Matthews and Tactical Flight Officer Tracy aboard an agency MD-500E model helicopter equipped with an HD flare camera system arrived on scene and began conducting a flare search. Within a few minutes, officers were seen running in different directions, apparently seeking cover. Radio traffic indicated shots had been fired. TFO Tracy was able to locate the suspect on FLIR as he moved from behind a tree and fired on officers with a long gun. At this point, an officer down call went out over the radio. Tracy advised units to take cover and observe the suspect walk away from the scene. The flight crew was also equipped with NVGs, and Matthews elected to turn off all exterior lights on the helicopter. As the suspect calmly walked away, Tracy was able to observe him raise the rifle and fire at least two shots at the helicopter. Matthews quickly banked the aircraft away from the threat and gained altitude, while Tracy continued to track the suspect on FLIR. When attempting to set up a perimeter, Using the moving map system, Tracy lost sight of the suspect, so the air crew elected to return to the shooting scene and cover the extraction of the fallen officer. Once this was completed, they returned to the area where the suspect was last seen and relocated him walking along a power line grade. Tracy could clearly see that the suspect had a military-style chest rig and an AK-47 type rifle with an extended magazine. While continuing to observe the suspect and attempting to set up a perimeter, despite heavy radio traffic, Tracy and Matthews observed the suspect take a position where he could watch for responding law enforcement. Low fuel forced them to depart the scene. During a post-flight inspection while refueling, the crew noticed a bullet hole in the horizontal stabilizer. Special Agent Matthews, who was also an A&P mechanic, determined that the damage was not a safety of flight issue or grounding item. After contacting the unit commander, the crew made the decision to return to the scene. Upon arriving, the air crew determined the most likely area for the suspect to have fled and began a flare search. They located a heat source coming from an overturned John boat and requested units to check it out. They then responded to a report of a person with night vision running through a nearby backyard. As Matthews and Tracy searched the area, they were advised that shots were being fired from under a house, which was later determined to be the location of the John boat. Numerous officers were reported down at this point as well. Upon arriving back at the location, they were advised that the suspect was in custody. The helicopter remained on the scene while all injured officers were extracted to a safe location. During this incident, one officer was killed and three others wounded. The suspect was also wounded. Without the flight crew overhead providing real-time tactical information to ground units, the injury and death toll could have been much higher. For their heroic acts that epitomize APSA's motto, to serve, save and protect from the air. The Airborne Public Safety Foundation is proud to award the 2018 Captain Gus Crawford Memorial Air Crew of the Year Award to Special Agents Wayne Matthews and Dennis Tracy.